the, the biggest difference between the pediatric fracture and the adult fractures is that in children there's a structure in the bone called the growth plate. So the growth plate is where the bone is growing and uh, if that fractures as part of the break then that could cause uh, potentially uh, a problem with how the bone is going to grow and develop from there. The growth plate is closed, meaning not growing anymore, in girls on average at 14 years of age and boys on average at 16 years of age. Uh, usually by the time a kid sees me with lower back pain, they've already been through the pediatrician or family doctor for a while, or there's been a pretty significant injury and the pain is persistent. So if the pain uh, in the lower back is persistent or reoccurrent, I worry about uh, that the kid may have developed a crack in the lower backbone. And if caught early, uh, we can treat it with a brace and it will almost always heal up and totally resolve. If it's caught pretty late, the bone has less chance of healing. And uh, then the child may have non-healing of the stress fracture in the low back, persistent pain, and if the pain is too severe, then a spine fusion may be required. What we're referring to in overuse injuries is that uh, they occur uh, just from a lot of activity. So, for instance, if a child's in multiple running sports, uh, maybe they will get an overuse injury to the heel, causing heel pain. Parents can help prevent overuse injuries if uh, they make sure their kids have plenty of calcium and vitamin D in the diet. You know, scoliosis is very common. About 6% uh, of the general population has scoliosis. Uh, fortunately, usually it's pretty mild. Only the worst, most serious deformities require surgery. I think for me, it's the highest calling that I could have in medicine is to help treat children so that they can lead, lead a normal life.